Dexter Henry here for the Terrier Sports Network. I'm joined by a head coach of the women's basketball team, John Thurston, as his team gets ready for the first round of the NEC tournament where they will take on Sacred Heart, the number two seed. Terriers are the number seven seed. And coach, before we get to some tournament stuff, we had some good news this week. Uh, tournament, uh, tournament awards, NEC awards came out. Uh, Leah Fetchko, NEC all-rookie uh, team, she made that. And Sarah Benedetti was NEC all-third team. Could you just talk about the impact of those two players and what they've had on your team this season? Uh, well, first of all, Leah Fetchko had a, a tremendous year as a freshman. Um, she was an unrecruited player coming out of Twinsburg, Ohio. Uh, she did an outstanding job for us. We actually thought, and a lot of people thought, she would get the Rookie of the Year uh, because of all the players that were nominated, uh, her team did the best. Uh, most of the rookies came from teams that didn't make the didn't make the playoffs. So, uh, uh, and, and Leah had a direct impact on our uh, getting into the playoffs this year. She led all rookies in rebounding uh, as a guard, uh, not not as a post player, but as a guard. Uh, and when other people were hurt or sick and, and missed games. You know, Leah had to pick up her scoring and did. And Sarah Benedetti is the same thing. Uh, Sarah was a completely unrecruited player coming out of high school. Uh, didn't even get Division three offers. Um, ended up as a part-time starter for us last year, seven points a game. Increased that to 11 points per game this year. Through an incredible amount of hard work and extra time, uh, she led the NEC in three-point shots made and was fourth in field goal percentage. So uh, it's great to see kids who work so hard uh, get, get recognized. Uh, uh, you'll notice after every single practice, every single practice, they stay here. Those two, Sarah and Leah, stay here. They shoot at that basket every single day. I've seen that myself. Um, and it, so it's 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 a good thing, like I said, to see them recognize. I'm really excited for them. And um, some of our other players did well statistically. Jessica Kaufman uh, finished second in field goal percentage, which is a tough statistic. Um, uh, Ailey Simpson was up there in assist and assist to turnover ratio and. And, uh, you know, that gives us a solid nucleus of people that are able to compete, at least statistically, at the top of the NEC. Those players were very instrumental in the team's success this year. 11 wins overall, 8 wins in the conference, so it was a, a pretty good season for the Terriers. And John Thurston was a major part of that turnaround. Looking ahead to the NEC tournament, they will take on Sacred Heart. And, John, Sacred Heart has three really good players. They have uh, Gabrielle Washington. Um, Morgan Merriman and Kylie Evans, who have been uh, tremendous for them all season. What is it going to take for you guys to shut down those players? Maybe not shut them down, but contain those players and come out with a win on the road in NEC tournament. Well, they all, they also have uh, Erica Norman, their point guard, yeah. who is one of the uh, I think in the top five in the country in assists, and she kind of makes them go. But um, you know, they, they they've had a history of winning. That's the thing with Sacred Heart is they, they have won, they've been in the top three every year since they've been in the conference. Um, they play that way, they play with a lot of, uh, of, of confidence out there. So they, they feel like they're gonna win a game and they have multiple, uh, they have multiple weapons. Um, they've got a nice bench, they got a great shooter who comes off the bench. Uh, but you know, they're tournament tested. You know, they got to the finals last year. They won it last year. They went to the NCAAs with these same players. This same team went to the NCAAs last year. So they're tournament tested. That's a big thing at this time of the year. So uh, they're a solid team, but I don't think our kids are intimidated because we did split with them this year when we played well up there. And uh, so I, I think it's a good matchup for us. Uh, hopefully our... Uh, youth and, and excitement can match their experience in tournament play. And lastly, one thing Coach Thurston has talked about all season with this team is if you don't make shots, you're not going to win. He's preached that all year. That's been his key to almost every game. Coach, I know that will be your key to this game, but could you give me another key and what do you think it'll take to win this game and, and pull out the upset on the road? Well, yeah, obviously, you know, I always talk about <laughs> making shots. And the second part of that is is getting good shots, uh, and and I and, and I take for granted probably sometimes that we 
We play well defensively. We, uh, we've we set the school record two years in a row now uh, with the points allowed. Uh, this year we broke last year's record. Um, so I, I kind of take for granted that our kids are going to play hard defensively. Um, but the big thing is you can't turn the ball over. Um, the, the really good tournament teams uh, are, are usually in single digits turnover-wise. You know, you're going to see only the really efficient offensive teams that are going to keep advancing. Um, uh, and those teams that can, that can, can get more than a point per possession. Um, so not turning it over, being, making your free throws, uh, getting offensive rebounds, turning the other team over and getting easy chances for shots. Those are all things that are important and even more important this time of the year because it's a one-shot deal. You know, during the year, you just you keep playing on. You go to the next game. Now it's 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 one and done from here on in. Got to win or go home, right, John? That's correct. Well, sounds like Coach John Thurston and Terriers are ready to try to get a win at Sacred Heart. You heard the keys from him. Make shots, take care of the ball. Terriers will look to do that on Sunday as they battle Sacred Heart. They'll be the number two seed versus the number seven. Terriers are looking for the upset. For head coach John Thurston, I'm Dexter Henry with this playoff preview from the Terrier Sports Network.